and welcome back to the channel <clears throat> on this video as we ride in the rain on this cool fall day wet day I want to talk about a bike that is newly updated so they've gone from the 2023 model to the now 2024 model which is on pre-order right now and that's the Wired Freedom and this is truly one of the best bikes and may be the best value out there uh, for the dollar and a little bit uh, of info about the new Wired Freedom and first of all right now they are taking orders uh, on the uh, bike and they're expecting to start shipping out in the first of uh, first uh, early November I guess the first week or so or week and a half into the month and uh, I'm gonna go over whoop, I'm gonna go over some of the uh, a few of the uh, specs on the bike so a few things have changed I'm not going to go over every single thing but I will leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out but uh, they haven't messed uh, too much with it I mean they did some things as far as power goes it's pretty much uh, the same like there's not a lot of difference there but uh They changed out like the front fork is different. The uh, chain ring has gone from 52 teeth to 56 and apparently there's no ghost pedaling on this bike which is totally awesome. Because I mean if you're gonna buy a bike and wanna pedal it, um, you know, and you, you uh, don't wanna be ghost pedaling, you wanna be able to pedal the bike, you know, even at a little bit faster uh, rate of speed, I think um it's very rare to find a bike i think these days that are that will or is it possible even that doesn't ghost pedal i don't have one that doesn't ghost pedal and uh so that's pretty cool and um <clears throat> so some of the uh, amazing specs on this bike for the money i mean first of all it's a 60 volt and i don't know of any bike out there that 60 volt that's going to be under two thousand dollars there's just no way and so uh, this bike being 60 volt uh, and the motor is a 1500 watt peaking out at 2200 watts that's a lot of power for 60 and a 60 volt and also the torque this puts out a torque of 138 newton meter and that is uh that's that's enough to knock you uh, flying on your keister if you're not hanging on so uh really cool i like that especially for stuff like hill climbing you want good torque you want to be able to have that power to get you up a steep hill particularly where i am here in oregon you know we got some pretty good steep hills um I think if there's one thing that I would pick pick on this bike as not being as good as I would like, but uh, I'm not going to really complain at the price point, but um, my uh, one complaint would be the battery size being 60 volt and 20 amp hour. But uh, like I say, at this price, you can't expect a whole lot more, you know, like, I mean, if you want a bigger battery, then up goes the price. But because uh, the battery is, let's face it, it's the uh, most expensive single part of your bike, component on your bike. So, uh, I mean, I'd like to see like a 30 amp hour battery on there. That'd be awesome. But... 
is probably going to run that bike up closer to the uh, three thousand dollar or close to it uh range and so if we want to keep that price down for a lot of folks you know two thousand is probably the max you're going to spend and that is pretty awesome that you can get this bike at that price so i would say that's the only thing that I would like to see a little bigger, but like I say, if we want to keep the price up where it is, then we just have the battery at what it is. So, the controller is something else that is really good on this bike. It's a 40 amp controller. I mean, a lot of bikes you're going to see for the $2,000 range, you're going to see a 48 volt maybe a thousand watt motor if you're lucky but probably 750 you're going to see a controller that's probably 22 to 25 amps maybe a 30 but i you know if you're lucky i don't know about that though and then you're going to see a battery that maybe at the most is 20. you might see a less than the 20 amp hour battery so uh The bike is uh, 26 by 4 tires that are Kenda. It does come now with metal fenders, which is an upgrade from the plastic. I like the metal better because of the, I like the sturdiness of it. The downside is, yeah, you're going to hear rocks clinging and clanging against it from time to time, but I think. I think overall they give it a more quality look on the bike, the uh, metal fenders, and I think also they um, don't flop around and move around as easily. They're more sturdy, which I like. So I don't know. I guess it doesn't totally matter as long as they protect you from the wet. They are a little shorter though. Looks like they've uh, made them small, uh, like uh, shorter. So I uh, prefer the longer just for the fact that I like to, to protect me and the bike from uh, the wet, so. It does come also with the uh, rear rack. It's a long rack too, which I think is good. I like the long rack on it and the price, I mean it's still $19.99 which is crazy. I don't know how long they're going to keep it at $19.99 but as of right now it is $19.99 and if you go and order one now you will get uh, the new model. Uh, anybody that orders the bike from now on it is the new model and it has a half twist throttle five uh, pedal assist levels the motor i didn't mention the motor is a rear geared hub motor and 1500 peaking at 2200 that's that's pretty darn good especially this price it's just I think you'd be hard pressed to uh, find a bike, like I say, that would beat it. Um, first of all, 60 volt, there's not a lot of 60 volt bikes out there. So just finding a 60 volt, and if you do, you're probably going to pay closer to the $3,000 as opposed to the $2,000, but... I think this bike is going to do really well. It's already been doing well on the 2023, but I think this one... Uh, ...is going to sell well. And uh, something else, this bike is a class two, class one, two, three. But uh, if you unlock it, it goes beyond that. It'll go top speed of like 40 miles an hour depending on how big of a person you are um, it does have a payload capacity of 
300 pounds for the rider and the rack will handle 50 pounds more. And the bike itself weighs 88 pounds with the battery. Without the battery it's uh, 76, so it's a decent weight. Not too, too heavy, but um, going back to the battery there, what I mentioned earlier, that I'd like to see a larger battery would be nice. That's also going to put more weight on the bike, but I think that that bike would still be fine even at 100 pounds, I think. Still be pretty good. The Wired Freedom. I don't know how much uh, riding people will get out of it as we close out uh, 2023 here, but you'll start to see a lot of them out around, I think, in 2024 when we get the better weather. And, you know, now we're getting into, like, a lot of places that, you know, November, December, we get into the colder weather here. Uh, a lot of folks just don't ride their bike or just can't do it from where they're at. But here I can get away with it. It's raining right now, but I'm loaded up with my uh, rain boots. I don't have my rain pants on, but I have my rain jacket on and I have my uh, uh, boots. I have the gloves on. So I'm good right now. I will leave a link, as I, I mentioned in the description, if you want to go check out the full specs on the bike, the Wired Freedom 2024 model. It's up on your website. And uh, if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And hey, if you got a bike that you think would beat that bike for that value, by all means, let us know in the uh, comments. I'd be uh, interested in see. Uh, what bike you uh, think is uh, a better value for that money than the Wired Freedom 2024. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.